Mary Kay Ash, Miracles Happen, The Life and Timeless Principles of the Founder of Mary Kay, Inc. Mary Kay, dedicated to the thousands of women who dare to step out of their comfort zones and use their God-given talents and abilities, realizing that God did not have time to make a nobody, just a somebody. Acknowledgements. I would like to gra- gratefully acknowledge the contributions of three special people who provided invaluable assistance in preparing this manuscript. First, thanks to Bob Shook for his sincere words of encouragement and his amazing power of organization, and to Linda Perigo Moore, a successful author in her own right, and to Yvonne Pendleton of our Mary Kay staff who helped assemble all the needed information for the epilogue thanks to helping me tell my story in exactly the right words. Without them, this book would probably never have been written. Preface. I started to write a book once before, shortly after retiring from a 25-year career in direct sales. My retirement was less than a week old. And I already knew why so many obituaries include the phrase he retired last year. In fact, I lived across the street from a mortuary and I began to wonder if I should just call them up and tell them to come on over. Building my career and caring for my family had been everything to me. I never liked those things other people seemed to enjoy for relaxation. For example, I never had time to learn how to play games like tennis and absolutely hated cocktail parties. To me, work and growth were the same. And without my work, I found that I had no reason to get out of bed each morning. Thus, after retirement, the only thing left for me to do was to think back over those active, productive years. During my career, I had faced and solved many problems that are unique to women in business. Much of the time, I was actually handicapped or held back by outdated ideas of what a woman should and should not do when working with men. Maybe I thought, just maybe, I could use my experience to help other women over these same hurdles. That's when I decided to organize my thoughts by writing down all the lessons I had learned when I began this exercise. I was filled with memories of opportunities denied me because I was a woman. I hoped and I hoped that making my list would clear my heart of bitterness. It did, but just as important as important was the realization that I had compiled a list of factors that defined the dream company. In this abstract company, relationships would be based upon the golden rule and women would be allowed to pursue unlimited opportunities. No one would be held back if she had the skills and determination to succeed. I used the notes to begin what I intended as a management training book, but before long, I asked myself, why are you theorizing about a dream company? Why don't you just start one? Mary Kay Cosmetics was founded on Friday, September 13, 1963, and through the ensuing decades, it has been my joy and honor to watch it grow. With the help of God and my wonderful family, friends and associates, we have evolved from a little storefront company with nine sales. With nine saleswomen to an international family of hundreds of thousands of beauty consultants, each controlling her own independent business. The solutions I listed so long ago have been thousands and thousands of women. The opportunity to become so much more than the they have ever thought they could be but I'm not stopping there nothing wilts faster than a laurel rested upon and so we have always worked to maintain the very best products and to practice the best sophisticated management techniques available it was with this in mind that we made the decision in 1968 to open ownership in Mary Kay Cosmetics Inc and to become listed on the 
on the public stock exchange. At the time, it was an important stepping stone for us. But as the years passed, circumstances changed. We came to believe that our corporate growth would be impeded if we continued along this route. In the spring of 1985, we decided that it would be in the best interest of our people and our customers if we got out of the stock market. So basing our decision on objective and independent expert opinions, we made fair value offers to buy back all the outstanding public shares of Mary Kay Cosmetics and return to a family corporation. The advantages of such a move are many. Most important, we are not adversely affected as investors buy and sell in an ever-fluctuating stock market. One important thing has not changed since we came off the stock market. Every consultant and director associated with us still maintains her own independent business. That's the way it's always been. But at our corporate headquarters, we can more closely monitor and ensure those basic principles upon which our company was built. As founder and chairman emeritus of Mary Kay Cosmetics, I received quite a lot of pub- publicity. When Now when I have something to say, people seem to listen. It's not that I'm saying anything different from what I've said all my life. But apparently when a person achieves some success, what he or she has to say becomes more important. So here I am, writing that book again. I've never been one to pass up an opportunity as often as I can. You'll hear me talking about the many wonderful opportunities in this world for women. And while some of my philosophy as old-fashioned employing the golden rule and living something we have come to call the go-give spirit, it's also a yes-you-can philosophy which I think is very much in tune with today's women. Not only that, but it works. I want to share with you now my philosophies, my inner feelings, my disappointments, and my joys. You will probably notice that I don't give too many dates. Of course, I remember dates like my children's birthdays. I'm a woman, and what woman isn't sentimental about those things. But if you had just a few dates and were even slightly good at arithmetic, You'd know my age, and I never tell my age. Why should I? I believe that a woman who will tell her age will tell anything. All I'll tell you is that I'm not as old as some people seem to think. I've heard the rumors. The best thing I ever heard on the subject is this. If you really didn't know your exact age, how old would you say that you were? I feel 24. This book is for anyone who feels young and who wishes to succeed. You see, God didn't have time to make a nobody. As a result, you can have or be anything you want. Every one of us is important and necessary to God's plan. If someone else would just believe in you, you would be able to do great things. I know this because someone once believed in me. At a time when I may not have displayed much in the way of experience or skill, someone believed that I could succeed. And largely because of this confidence, I did.